1497, Italian explorer John Cabot, returning from a voyage to the New World, exclaims that the sea is so thick with teeny fish, they can be scooped up with a basket. The fish Cabot is boasting about is the Atlantic cod. The sea he's referring to is off the Grand Banks of Newfoundland, which is the largest of 20 or so offshore banks. Why cod flourish in this area is because the banks are part of a series of shallow undersea plateaus. The plateaus range from 30 to 180 meters in depth and stretch almost 320 kilometers from shore before they drop off to 1800 meters or more. With the icy Labrador current, the warm waters of the Gulf Stream, and the freshwater current of the St. Lawrence, all colliding together over the banks, ideal conditions are created for the cod's favorite food source, phytoplankton. With Europe's insatiable demand for fish, North America's eastern seaboard comes alive during the cod rush, and for centuries provides European markets with thousands of tons of salted cod each year. By 1921, the year Blue Nose is launched, fishing off the banks is slowly transitioning from sail to diesel. But still, even though Blue Nose is a fishing schooner designed to race, catching fish is how her captain, Angus J. Walters, and her crew earned their living, with all the fishermen sharing the profits made from their catch. Life at sea is full of danger. Success depends on vigilance, luck, and tireless work in some of the worst conditions imaginable. Once on the banks, Blue Nose's crew bait their thousands of hooks and ready their 4.5 meter dories in the early hours of the morning before sunrise. The dory, with its flat bottom, is the reliable workhorse of the Grand Banks fishery. It can hold more than two tons of cod, or halibut, and is extremely seaworthy, empty or filled. Blue Nose comes equipped with eight two-man dories. The fishermen must supply their own gear, which includes a full set of oil skins and their own pair of three-meter oars. The dories are either launched as a flying release and tethered in a row behind her stern to be later released, or they are launched when Blue Nose is at anchor and fan out in all directions to cover 20 square kilometers of sea in one pass. For up to six times, the fishermen bring their catches back to Blue Nose and reset their hooks. The nights are spent cutting, splitting, and salting the fish before the fishermen can steal away an hour or two of sleep. Fishing off the banks is an incredibly hard way to earn a living. But the only guarantees a fisherman has are sore muscles, a wet backside, and a little money in return. When two schooners head for home from the banks, a race surely ensues. And if one of those schooners is Blue Nose, the outcome is rarely in doubt. Getting back to port first means getting the best prices for your haul and coveted bragging rights. <laughs>